As India prepares to induct a second batch of Rafale fighters, the Indian Air Force has sent a team of officials to France, who will oversee the progress of the Rafale project, integration of India's specific enhancements, coordinate on logistical matters and also review the training of pilots. Officials have said that the Indian Air Force will receive its second batch of four Rafale fighters in November, and they will come equipped with hammer standoff systems, mica and meteor systems and scalp cruise missile. Airbus A330 has been the choice of the Indian Air Force for both next-generation refuelers and OACS program, but it has not been cleared by the Finance Ministry due to high purchase cost of the platform. As per latest reports, the Indian Air Force can acquire the A330 platforms from aviation companies, which are available for long-term lease and outright sale, due to declining commercial airline industries. The available A330 aircraft are just 8 years old, and their engines still have plenty of life left in them, and they will cost only 30% as compared to the cost of newly built A330 aircraft. With over 1,500 Airbus A330 produced since 1992, it will not be difficult to find engines and spares from civilian market, and the commonality between the civilian and military variant of A330 is more than 85%. Israel has already offered conversion kits to India, to convert civilian platforms into aerial refueling platforms. An Indian startup company working on counter space technology will launch a constellation of nanosatellites in 2021 that will be equipped with sensors and laser systems and will protect Indian satellites from adverse actions of enemy satellites. The nanosatellites will be able to detect space objects as small as 1 cm and can disable enemy satellites using in orbit laser systems. The former commanding-in-chief of the Indian Army's Northern Command has said that as the Chinese military has a large number of sophisticated unmanned aerial vehicles and unmanned combat aerial vehicles, India must acquire a formidable unmanned aerial combat capability. The Indian Air Force chief recently pointed out the limitations of combat drones and the high costs of acquiring this capability, on which the former Northern Army commander has said that every piece of military equipment has some limitations, and as far as cost is concerned, India must choose the platform wisely. He also said that the Valkyrie stealth drone that is currently under development in collaboration with the US Air Force has a range of almost 4,000 kilometers and a payload carrying capacity of 250 kilograms, and cost around $2 million per unit, which translates into 50 drones for the cost of one Rafale fighter jet. A report prepared by the Indian Army recently mentioned that faulty ammunition supplied by ordnance factories have caused a loss of 960 crore rupees since 2014, and that the Army could have purchased around 100 artillery systems with that money. Responding to the Indian Army, the Ordnance Factory Board has referred to the Army's purchase of faulty ammunition worth 522 crore rupees from Russia in 1999 and said that the army could have bought another 55 artillery systems with that money. <laughs> Myanmar Navy has conducted a naval exercise with its first submarine, which is a Kilo-class submarine gifted by India, under a part of a new defense cooperation between the two countries. The submarine transfer is significant in the backdrop of China supplying two Ming-class diesel-electric submarines to Bangladesh. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.